sea. The sea. That sea. The thing about the sea is, it's not to be trusted. Just put your respect in the sea. The sea is, it's, it's, it's water really. It's, uh, it's aqua to some, Poseidon, Neptune. It's nemesis and a cruel mistress to others. So uh, just uh, look after yourself in the sea. I mean, the people, the people on Titanic, you know, captured by E.J. Smith, E.J. Smith. I mean, they didn't put their trust in the sea. They just hopped on there like, yeah, we're going to sea. People in the lifeboats thought, yeah, we're just on the sea. The people in the sea, end of. So just uh, uh, don't, don't trust the sea, but put your trust in the sea because you don't want to be at the bottom of the sea. And uh, don't, uh, while we're here, don't look, uh, don't look straight into the sun when you're uh, at sea because the sea the sea it, it isn't just like a level plane of glass it's like it's quite undulating and stuff so um, it can actually refract light down and up into your eyes so if you're gonna if you're gonna be on a small fishing vessel or anything just bring a pair of sunglasses or some kind of protective goggles or a cap even the seals the seals those seals. Never put your trust in seals. Fish eaters, you know, they uh, they compete with seagulls for uh, for whatever nutrients are poured out by uh, you know like excess fish from fishing vessels and stuff that doesn't get sold down the harbour. Um, so they, you can see him there. He's actually eating a uh, fish. So they they usually hang around where humans are and they just congregate and stuff. So never trust them because. Uh, They'll do you over. They may be nice to look at it. Might be oh, let's release this seal. He's only gonna come back, free grub, and uh, they're just not. They're not great lads. They, everybody thinks because they have whiskers. They're oh, some two with cats or something. They think they're cute and stuff, but they're really just they're they're mammals actually, and uh, they're mostly just blubber and stuff. And um, they uh, they're about as useful as pigs, but at least from pigs we get pork and you know bacon and even like uh, they're quite docile animals but uh, that would bite your bite your arm off no bother so don't don't put your trust in the seals the sea the sea this sea never put your trust in the letter C the letter C third best uh, when it's in uh, letterland the way most of us learned it it's a uh, it's represented by a little picture of a cat, but it doesn't really fit inside the letter C. It's just like it's just they didn't have a shape for a C, so they decided to put a uh, a C around the picture of a cat's face. And you know nobody likes a clever clogs, and uh, he just he just hangs around. And uh, a lot of bad words begin with C. So uh, cats, cholesterol, uh, cars aren't great for the environment. Uh, crisis is a word. H after the letter C, it still counts as being a C word, oh, the C word, and, um, you know, H is like its accomplice, it's, it's a little evil brother, so never, never put trust in letters in general, I mean, you should have, like, there's some things you can put trust in, like, family and friends and that, but if you've got to start putting your trust in inanimate, um, abstract ideas like letters and, uh, actual alphabet stuff, uh, there's really there's no hope for you, so just uh, don't 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 trust the letter C.